I'm Catherine Lau. I have attended Wendover Hills for 15 years. I met my husband there, and we have served in many areas at Wendover Hills. My attitude towards um, serving for needy people or people that are in need has always been, honestly, a little bit opinionated, my own opinion. Um, I've struggled with um, handouts. I've struggled with people taking advantage of other people, people not telling the truth um, about their situation in life. Um, here recently, I have um, met someone that I have developed a great relationship with this gentleman that is in need. He is from Jamaica. He is here legally, been here almost five years. His family, his wife, his son, his daughter, and his two grandchildren still live in Jamaica. His plan and goals for them are to eventually come here and live with him. So once we realized he didn't have running water for an average of five to six months, me and my sister knew it was time to step in. It was about two days later he informed my niece that, along with no running water, that he was starving. He um, then got fired from his Walmart job that he had worked at for two years because he had stole a drink and some chicken from the deli because he was so hungry. So after realizing he had no water and that he had been fired from his job from stealing two food items, um, me and my sister started um, raising money for, um, to help this gentleman. We filled up the car and we drove to his little apartment and that's when the Lord changed my heart. When I walked into his kitchen, he started opening all his pantry doors, his refrigerator, his freezer. The man only had ice cream and a box of Frosted Flakes in his whole entire kitchen. He had nothing, not a Ziploc bag, not a canned food, not a thing of milk, not a bottle of water, um, absolutely nothing except two food items in his kitchen. So that's when the Lord said, Catherine, trust him. Trust the Lord to take care of Lambert. My heart was changed immediately that night about my opinions of the poor, of poverty, of trusting people in need. I asked for a tour of his apartment. Um, he owned a couch and a uh, love seat. Um, then we went on and I passed his bathroom with no running water since January. The man had literally buckets in his bathroom. So after that evening, really seeing exactly how Lambert lived and his needs, my sister and I started posting on Facebook, asking people to pray for our friend Lambert, to um, come aside us and help with some needs that he had. So we listed financial reasons and we also listed just material things like towels and washcloths and to help financially get his water cut back on. And the number one thing was just to pray for Lambert, that the Lord would speak to him and, and let him know that he is loved. He was struggling with feeling that. He felt like he didn't work hard enough or he didn't deserve our help. And we know with God's grace, he, was, he is deserving. If you have never served like this, I ask you to please, Take your opinions and all the things that you think about um, certain people or certain situations and, and ask the Lord to change your heart like he did mine. That you would come alongside someone and help them in need. So find someone in your community that you can serve, that you can help. Come alongside me and Lambert. Um, come along um, other things at our church that like Lot and other organizations that you might know of that you could serve and share the love of Jesus Christ.